Hey guys, welcome to my second month beard journey update with my Noxidil. Um, it's been super crazy. I've been in the middle of moving, so I didn't really even have time to do a typical video. And uh, I, this isn't my house. I, I just saw an open house. The door was open and didn't look like anybody was home. So I thought I'd take this video since it's windy outside. And uh, yeah, hopefully they won't come home, whoever they are, whoever lives here. I'm just kidding. It's my parents' house. Um, so... This month has been a pretty good month. I've started to notice some improvements in my beard. I don't know if this lighting helps. Probably makes it look thinner, but um, it's been good. I've just been using my Noxidil twice a day, and I'm still using the Derma Roller, which is supposed to help with collagen production, um, and still using the beard oil that I made. Um, it seems to be going well. Last month I had complained about having dry skin like really dry flaky skin and I shaved off my cheek area I don't know if you saw from my last videos and uh, it helped so much and I, I exfoliated a ton and I shaved it like three times a day just to like I don't know kind of help promote new hair growth because like I was saying in my last video I'd moved my neckline up and the hair was thinner in here because it hadn't been getting shaved consistently so that's why I did that but honestly I think it was a good idea because while I was growing out um, the cheek again, I could notice all the new hairs that I couldn't see when the beard was long. So I, I almost would advise it. I think it makes it a lot easier to put the product on when there's not as much facial hair. And I think that's actually what caused my dry skin was I was putting on so much product because I couldn't tell if it was actually getting down to my skin. Um, but yeah. So what you guys are probably all here for is to see the pictures of this month's versus last month's. So I will post those right here. Um, as you can see, I don't remember which side this is. I'll write it on one of the pictures. Um, because I have this mole on one of my sides of my face, it's good because it's like a marker, because I know the mole is not gonna move around. Um, and I can tell like where the hair is thicker now, and like looks like um, where the hairs are growing is actually higher up and looks like there are more hairs per square inch. So this month, I'm not even sure if my facial hair made it to a number three up here, and it actually looks thicker than it did when I know for sure that it was at a three. So that's good, that's good that we're making progress. Um, it seems like there are definitely new hairs going in, but it seems like the hairs that were already there are actually darkening a little bit and getting a little thicker, which is great, because that, um, that helps, every little bit helps. Um, from what I've heard, it sounds like three months is usually where you start noticing a bit more of the growth, so looking forward to that and hopefully that's the case. Thank you guys for watching this video, and if you want to check out my progress, just subscribe and I will be posting a video every single month. Um, and if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section. I don't necessarily know a ton about my Noxidil, but I do know a few people who do, so I will put their names in the info box and also the links to their channels. So you guys have a good one, and I will catch you guys in a month.